am Donnie the Tree Lady hanging out with my main man. My dad, Mick Fly. I'm sorry about that. My timing a little off. You know, it's That's been a minute, but, but I'm, I'm back, you know. <laughs> my Mick Fly, yeah. What's going on, Miss Donnie? Oh, lots of stuff going on. Loving this weather, except for the pollen in the air. But, you know, I'm yeah, loving that, life. The pollen doesn't do anything with your job. You just got to put like a face mask no, on or something. But you know what? It doesn't even bother me anymore. What? It really does not even bother me. It you doesn't know? even make you sneeze or anything? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You, I went through two years uh, where it did bother me for some reason. Uh-huh. And then it stopped bothering me. When I first moved down to Atlanta, it didn't bother me. Then I had kids. And I started having issues with allergies. And then after two or three years, I'm good and don't bother you. Yellow face, you know, being out there with all the pollen and stuff. I don't get yellow face, but I think you got yellow face. Just wondering. Just wondering. What's been going on? What's been going on? Oh, lots of good stuff. Loving life. Excited about our guest today, you know? Yeah. uh, You know, I'm a big fan of hers. I met her about last year. She did an interview with us. And she came on with her guitar and everything and just showed out. She showed up and showed out. Yes. And, and, go ahead. No, I was about to say, she's coming out with a new CD, too. Yes, she's got a new CD, which is the re- main reason why I wanted her to be here today. But I don't want you to feel bad because I didn't ask you how your week was. Oh, Is that I, all right? I, I'm okay. I'm okay. I want to <laughs> talk about Miss Veronica. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Guys, in the studio with us today, we have a renowned folk artist, blues singer, uh, just an amazing woman all the way around. You guys have got to check her out live one day. And I want her to talk a little bit about that. I am talking about the incomparable, the amazing Veronica Jackson. Yeah. My, what, a, what an introduction. I can I on and on. Right. Really go, the beat don't stop until the break, break of dawn. On, 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 on and on and on. So they're going to get your CD and think you, you're right. doing something different. Exactly. And she's a hip hop artist. Right. No, I'm, just right. I'm not a pop artist. No, so. I know. I yes. know. Yes. But talk, how have you been? Thank you so much. Oh, I tell you, girl, it's been wonderful. I tell you, I have been just working. Finally got my CD deal. Yes. And I tell you, studio work is not easy for me. Mm. But it finally got completed. Thank okay. you. I appreciate that. Right. Okay. It finally got completed and um, the end of January, well, okay. beginning of January, and everything came in my hands around the middle of February. Around it was, And I'm just, you know, people are loving it. Yes. I'm loving it. I'm listening to this CD yes. over and over and over. Yes. That's how much I'm okay. enjoying it. Mm, mm. You know, so but, the title of it is The Woman I Am. I love okay. it. See, I love and what it, it is, is, is recognizing women in acoustic, yes. folk, and blues. That's right. See, That's right. Because, you know, women don't be recognized as much. You hear yeah. everything about all these <laughs> men. <laughs> you know, all these men that are right. renowned Right. In the acoustic blues. Right. And there's some but great the women. women are not being recognized. So um, I decided something I always wanted to do was do a CD that represents women. Awesome. And then uh, along with their music, I'm including some of my original. So you've got okay. some original things in there. I got That's some original. Now, what number there. CD is this? Because this is your first CD, right? That's number five. Number five. That's right. That's She's got a five. few of them out there, y'all. Yeah. Oh. And and if people wanted to find you, which we're going to get into your story, but if they want to find you online or pick up your stuff, how can they find you? Well, they can go to veronicajackson.com. Now, that's mm-hmm. Veronica with a K. Yes. Okay. Make sure Veronica y'all put that K, K in y'all there. Y'all put that K in there. Uh-huh. That's right. And it's B-E-R-O-N-I-K-A jackson.com. Yes. I love it. And they'll it. be able to purchase one through my um, website. Awesome. Now, you mentioned something a few seconds ago because, you know, I've seen you play. And yeah. you are, j- like, you just are in your comfort zone. And it's like you, you, this crowd is feeling you. I'm feeling you. All of that. But you said that in the studio it's a little bit different, can, difficult. Can you explain that? Yeah, because, you know, you can't make no errors. You got to go over and over. If your voice crack, you got to go over. <laughs> you make that part of the song. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, so it takes a lot of time yeah. to record a, a piece of work. You know, some okay. people take years. I was really amazed that... Um, It didn't take me as long. God blessed me with some musicians that played behind me on a few songs that we got together and we made sure Mm -hmm. we practiced. And the bass player got right in there and did it just like that. Yes, the harmonica player was good, you know. So it just, um, it was challenging. It always is. Mm -hmm. But as I listen to the final product, I'm really happy about it. Wonderful. Let me ask you, do you think you're you're more of a perfectionist on this one? You know, trying to make sure everything is right. I try. And did your guests, you know, uh, uh, musicians, they get irritated with you? 
No, they didn't. Because it's curious. This, 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 see, this is now, what you know he's a musician, too. Okay. But, but see, this is what happens. See, I put my part down. Uh-huh. Okay. And then they come in and play after me. Okay. So we're not in there playing together. Okay. Because some bands do that. Mm-hmm. Some people mm. do that. Okay. But we didn't do it like that. I even did a record. I did one song, Donnie, and uh, I went home and I listened to it and I say, oh, no, that ain't going to work. Right. So I had to practice and practice and go back in the studio. Mm-hmm. It's a song that I find very challenging for me, uh, Going to the Water, okay. Okay. which is a really nice song. And I, it, it's got a preggio picking. So mm-hmm. my fingers are doing something that's just repetition. Mm-hmm. And you got to think, you got to think, mm-hmm. you know, so... When you do that, you just got to be on. Right. Mm-hmm. You got to be on. And then the musicians come in and they do their part. And I listen to them and say, oh, wait a minute. No, uh-uh, we're going to do it another way. You know, I was really mastering that thing. I was like, like no, nah, hey, you have to do that again. This is the first Nuh-uh. time. Right. Mm-hmm. This is the first CD I've ever done where I had to be the head. So you actually had creative control over this I one. did. Okay. I did. All the other CDs, I've done studio work and... Um, I trusted the people that was doing the work for right. me, the studio, right. you know. Now, why was it important for you this time to have so much control over it? Well, the main thing, I was working with a new uh, studio person, a okay. young man that has a studio here in uh, Atlanta. And I, did, I heard his work, but I've never got too much feedback. You hear right. some people saying, you know, he's good, he's good. And come to find out he was, but it was something that I had to work with. I could not give him full control. And it wouldn't have been right for me to do that. Right. Now, how does it look different? I'm sorry, you were... No, I was just listening. Go ahead. Did that sound, you know... That sound right. Yeah, it wouldn't wouldn't have been right for me to say, hey, I'm coming in here and you just do it all. Right. I'm saying because sometimes producers might have a different ear that you have and they have a different arrangement that you might... You know, they might want your bass to come in later and you Mm -hmm. want it to be early. So it is Mm -hmm. very, you know... I'm saying it's your work, too. This yeah, is right. your name on it. Yeah. You know, because once they play that CD, this is Veronica Jackson. They're not looking at, who's the bass player again? You know, did right, he, do, you know right, right. he messed up or the drummer uh-huh. messed up. Right. Uh-huh. It's your name on it. So it's it is. It's my name on it. And most of the time, it's your money on it, too. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. all. You know, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, your, it's your time. It's your money. So you want it right. It is. That's right. But now, right. even with writing some of these songs, I know you said that you would de- dedicate de- dedicated this mainly to women. What was some of the, I guess, inspiration behind your writing with it? Well, you know what? I um, The songs that I've written are songs of basically my experiences. Right. Okay. You know, it wasn't trying to get to any direction of women. Right. It was just songs that I've recorded that, let's say, I've written okay. that uh, I wanted to put on here. You know? Okay. And... Uh, and then afterwards, you decided to dedicate it to women afterwards? Yeah, I I, I, I wanted to dedicate it. I knew I was going in the studio right. mm-hmm. to dedicate, because I got a song on there, The Woman I Am, which is the title song. I was going to ask you about the title yeah. song, The Woman yeah. I Am, because I, I, that even speaks to me, yeah. you know, because I, yeah. I think I've become, over the years, who I was born to be now, yes. but I'm just yes. now becoming who I dreamed myself to yes. be, you know? Yes. Of course, with a little less weight. I dreamed but it with a little less I weight. Mean, <laughs> that's a whole other story. <laughs> But w- talk to us about that song. Yeah, because, see, this song, The Woman I Am, what made me write this song was it really came about during the time when a lot of women were having situations with bosses, right. men doing things to them, you know, and touching them and saying things. And then I had people in my life that was having uh, negative words coming to them from males. Right. Mm. And so I had somebody very close to me, and I said, let me write this song. And I sat down. And I wrote it, and when she told me what was happening, I said, I called her on the phone. I said, listen to this. I said, this song is for you. Mm. And she said, yeah. I remember you sang a song for me on my birthday. I did, I did. That's right. I did. You have have to sing us a little something today later on in the show. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's awesome what you're doing. And I I like the fact that you're picking up on a genre of music that – you know, some people don't pay attention to, but it's all over the place. And the blues is the baseline for everything we do right now. You know, what were you? you I was going to say, you know, I did not choose the um, genre of blues. When I was younger in my age, and I had just started um, playing music and I was yeah. hanging out with folk musicians. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm a mature, seasoned woman. 
<laughs> and uh, <laughs> mature. So I, I, I love it. So I've been around for a little bit, uh-huh. right, right. and I was hanging out with these folk artists. And this guy wanted to book me at his coffee house because he had heard me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was only like. 23, 24. You was a young lady. I was very young. So you're about 39 right now, huh? Correct. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so he asked me, he said, Veronica, he said, I want you to come do my coffee house. He said, and I'm going to send this lady, a news reporter, mm-hmm. over to your house. Okay. She's going to do an article on you. And then this is going to help bring people to this concert, mm-hmm. this coffee house. And I did it. But when I looked at the article in the paper, it said, folk blues singer. And I'm saying, uh, where they get oh the wow. blues from? Okay, okay. Well, it's how I sing. Mm. Well, it's you sing with a lot of depth. And yeah. I, like, even if you wouldn't have told me the genre, I would have thought blues. Uh-huh. Like, I, would, I would have thought blues. Maybe not necessarily folk, because I, that wasn't on my radar, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. definitely blues. I was thinking neo-soul hip-hop. You know, <laughs> okay. just just okay. for the different style, you know. But yeah. <laughs> when y'all hear later on, y'all gonna hear, you know, I can hear that remix behind it. Well, you, you know, know somebody you somebody said and said the other day, say, well, maybe we can do Americana. I say, don't go there. <laughs> okay, what's Don't Americana? What's See, the difference? Uh, Americana is nothing but people just doing music from way back when to today. That's what I. That's what he told me. I thought Americana because I say, what is Americana? Would that be it's jazz? A little, no, no, it can be okay. jazz. It can be country. It can be it, Ameri- a little bit of Ameri- everything. That's okay. right, a, a mixture okay. of everything. Ameri. Gotcha. Well, speaking of a little bit of everything, we need to pay for a little bit of everything. So we're gonna yes. be right back. We're gonna take a quick break. And we'll be right back. And I actually want to, you know, one of the things I like about our show is that we get to talk to artists, but we also kind of get in their head. I want to talk to you going back to the woman I am. So we'll chit chat about that in a minute. I'm Donnie, the tree lady. And the man I am is Marty McFly. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I am Donnie the Tree Lady. And I am Marty McFly. And we are here with the illustrious Veronica Jackson. Yes. She is an amazing woman. She's a folk artist and blues artist. And we're sitting here talking about her music. But I kind of wanted to get in her head because she said something about, um, you said something about your your song, The Woman I Am. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that sparked a thought in my head about something that's going on right now with this whole Me Too movement. I'm really passionate about that. But something came up with a current politician that was a little handsy, but he didn't mean anything by it. Mm -hmm. And so this woman felt like her space was violated, even though she said he overtly didn't do anything sexual. Mm -hmm. How do you feel that things are changing right now with women feeling more empowered to say how they feel about when they're touched and how they're touched? That is a touchy one there. That's interesting. You know, that that is because, you know, um, if I understand it it happened back in 2014 yeah and um i'm sure that um it's really something that man has over the years you know taken advantage of women right you know and um to no avail they were afraid to say anything right i know i was you afraid know, to say something you know they were afraid to yeah. say anything and i can remember i got booked for um a, a restaurant that had, they sold alcohol, plus he booked me. For a couple of years, I did every Friday and Saturday where I used to live in Florida. Right. And i never forget that he said, Veronica, take a break. It was around the holiday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he said, take a break. He said, let's go over. And I want you to see this other place that you make and perform at. Right, right. And I said, okay. Well, I went, and we were heading back, and he made a, a pass. Okay. And I asked him, I said, is this why you hired me? Because if this is why you hired me, right. you, you know, we can call this thing quit right now. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But I was bold then. Right. Mm-hmm. See, and a lot of times we got to call these people right. on their stuff not then. Can I ask a question, though? What if the man genu- genuinely liked you and he made a pass at you? Well, this is the thing. He I'm, owned the business. I'm, I'm wait a glad minute. you're saying that. I'm, I'm, I'm wait a minute. Wait, but this is the thing. This man owned the business. He was married. Okay. Oh, and yeah. I knew that. Yeah. So. Oh, my God. Marty. I'm just, no, I'm just no, saying. Look, no, look, look, no. Just because he's married. Okay, yeah. Well, this is and, the and, thing. Wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out. 
Well, but in church, see, that's wait, wrong. Wait, no, wait a minute. No, wait, in the streets, wait. that's wrong. No, see, not wait, all the time. Y- yes, it is. 100% they be, of they the time. Be but see, it's they might all not be happy. Uh, but, there's but, enough women that says but yes. But wait a minute, wait and, a minute, Marty. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Marty. But how would wait you know? a minute, Marty. Wait a minute, uh-huh. Marty. Let me get this thought out, okay? Okay. Because the key is, Marty, you have to respect the woman. That's right. right. You got to respect your marriage. See, I, uh-huh. I ain't married, but uh-huh. I can't understand. I can't either. Uh-huh. For the life of me, why someone that is made a commitment. Yes. Uh-huh. And then here it is in the situation where I was. It was nothing but for a a night stand. A one night stand. And you okay. know this stuff. Right. Uh-huh. You but know, to but. To piggyback on what he's saying, though, here's what my problem is. I know what I'm saying is right. I know what, what you're saying is right. But also there's some validity to what he's saying. Yeah. Because that guy was bold enough to do that. You know why? Because there's been another woman that, yeah. that, that let him that do let it. let him right. do it. That let and, him and, but, do but it. Not even let him do it. I'm saying if I asked you out for dinner. Right. You know, because I'm attracted to you. Mm-hmm. If I'm married and I'm saying we might talk about that later on, and if that's something that you are against, then okay. Right. But, but the, I'm coming to you like a professional man and I say, you know what? But the first Can I key, take you out? the first key is if you are married, you should let her know that before you ask uh, her to go out. Look, well, you said yeah. you do. He was married, right? Mm-hmm. What? Well, no, this this I'm man. Wait, wait, this is what I'm. T- the man. You could be married, me. but wait you ain't had nothing in some months. Wait a minute, Marty. <laughs> you got a wait a minute, bitch. wait a minute, Marty. Hey. Wait a minute, Marty. The man a was a guy that booked me uh-huh. for an event. Right. right. He said, "Let's go over, check this other venue out." Right. Because yes. I felt like we had a pretty cool relationship. He did too. You know, right. not like that. Uh, but anyhow, I went. Right. But what's so neat, and I'm so proud of. To be able to say to him, because I knew it was a pass. Right. Mm -hmm. To be able to say to him, if that's what you're looking at, then you can go in and tell me this is my last night. Right, right. Now, the thing about it is, that lady, that night, if she felt, whenever it happened, is she? but a lot of women don't have that gumption that that I had. Right. Right. If she felt that was an overture from that man, Mm -hmm. it should have been saying, no, now you stepping and crossing the line. And that is true. Line. But I'm a, okay. But some of them don't have that, that, that to do it. If you cross the line, I respect that. You know, I ain't going to talk But let me no tell more. you the other side of that, though, which is a situation that I was in when I was in retail. Mm-hmm. And this, I think, plays into what they were trying to say about this politician. Mm-hmm. We had a district manager that used to always come in town, mm-hmm. okay? And he was just kind of handsy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I remember 22, 23 years old, he comes in. To my store, he starts doing the whole back rub. Oh stuff. no, you know no, what I mean. That's out of order, right there. And of there. course, I pull away, and I'm yeah, like, dude, I ain't the one. Order. You know, mm-hmm. I got on a skirt, you know, because mm-hmm. I used to like wear little short skirts. He would mm-hmm. make a little comment mm-hmm. that I had pretty legs. Mm-hmm. Yes, he was married. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that I had pretty legs. And then whenever um, we would have company meetings, he was like, I want you to make sure you sit next to me. You know what I mean? See, no. Now, once again, he did not rape me. Mm-hmm. He did not uh, sexually violate me, but mm-hmm. I felt uncomfortable. But this you is were young, what, see. I was young, but here's what happened when I went home and I told, I didn't, well, I was living on my own, but I was on the phone with my mom and I told her about it. I was like, oh my God, ma, my, di- my district manager is such a creep. And I told him what he did. This is what my mom said. Well, you know, guys will be guys. He, he didn't mean any harm with it. Now, back then, I knew I wasn't going to talk That's to right. him. And I, I mean, That's I knew right. I wasn't going to sleep with him or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it became almost the norm that, you know, guys just do stupid stuff mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. And I think now we're in a society mm-hmm. where people are saying, no, this is not appropriate yes. behavior. Yes. So to piggyback on what you're saying, what guys used to think is appropriate behavior it's not. It's not. Mm-hmm. Like, it's that not. used to be the right, norm. Right now, I, you know, I agree with you. It's, the climate has changed. Yeah. But now it's so far that, okay, I'm in church. I got to ask people, can I can I give you a hug? You know, because if not, you're right. going to look at me, oh, he's he's a nasty, creepy pastor. He wants to hug mm-hmm. everybody. He, you, know, you know. But no, this is the climate that we're in now. Because, you think that's the climate we're creating yes, now? Yes. Okay. I'm saying because certain so. men, I don't believe there really means something right. behind yeah. it. Right. You know, right. if they say, you know, how are you doing beautiful today? To me, I'm not trying to disrespect That's not you. being disrespectful. To no. some women, I, you don't refer to me as beautiful. But I think Just it's done going a little bit too far. Right. I think I think it has a little bit gone to the way where... A man got to just totally keep his mouth shut. Basically. Right, right. You know, and that takes the joy out of you being that, a person exactly. that is right. loving yeah. and kind. Yeah. There's a guy to go to my church. You talking about a dude that can get some hugs? Yeah. He's a married man, but he know how to hug. I'm a yeah. single woman. 
Hey, doc, how you doing? Yeah. Because it's just a good hug. It's right. not a hug where he's trying to... You don't feel sexual or whatever. I don't feel like but he's doing it. I know of a really nice guy. <laughs> hey, Doug, come here. Yeah, ain't sexual. <laughs> no, but I know but of a nice guy right me. now, a, a, a nice guy right now that is now afraid to give... And he, he's a hugger also. Mm-hmm. And he asked literally two months ago, hadn't seen him in a couple months, every time I see him, Big hug, no big deal. But mm-hmm. and sometimes even give me a kiss on the cheek, no big deal. I don't feel weird about it. Yeah. He said, "Is it okay if I give you a hug?" I say, "Dude, you always give me a hug." He goes, "Well, I know things are a little different yeah. now." And I'm like, yep. "What yeah. things are different?" And mm-hmm. I realized he was talking about the Me Too, the Me Too movement mm-hmm. and stuff. And he's like, "Well, I don't want people thinking I'm creepy." Right. And I'm like, "Okay, well, where is that line? Yeah. Like, see, where and, do and they?" See, just like the politician now. Somebody can come back and say that guy you're talking about. Well, 20 years ago, he kissed me on the cheek. And see, yeah. I could see, I could see people you saying know, that. Mm-hmm. I could see people. But see, I that. think, I think, when when I heard that, right, I kind of look at this guy. Well, you know, I like the guy. Uh, yeah, but I everybody really do. says he's handsy like that. You know, but they say he didn't do anything. Like they all said he's a little creepy, but he never did this, that, and the third. Mm-hmm. So where's mm-hmm. his line at? That, and that's the biggest question right now. I'm saying there is a real fine line mm-hmm. about being, you know, I guess overly affectionate mm-hmm. or just being straight, you know, cold. And I'm not going to do anything. I'm going right. to just be real professional. Shake your hand. But, and, you know, it's, it's so funny. It's so funny because, you know, you got folks that. I ain't saying. What? <laughs> what? Just, you know, some people can do this stuff and it's Okay. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, gotcha. You see yeah. what I'm gotcha. saying? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they don't say nothing about it. They don't care. We it's still, true. and I just don't understand it. Right. You yeah. know where? It, where do we draw the line of respecting a woman? How you sitting and talking about this man did this and this man did that? Right. How many? I look at one somebody that did all that stuff, and you hear how they talk. Right. And it's okay. I just, just, just so we clear, you talking about the president? I'm talking Why about. Are you messing with? She was trying to be vague. I, I know, but, I just, you know, I just, people, just, and I don't a while, understand. It's like, it. You talk about him; he could be doing yeah, that, that, and then the other guy could be doing but this. We are, but and then we, we, nah, and you ain't heard him be, say that he. Let's you just know, be straight. Yeah, we know who we're talking about. We know who we're talking about, but at mm-hmm. the same token, I think what you're saying is that there are some people that can get away with stuff in our society, and other people can't. Is what, yes. is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. well, we got to get past that. Yeah, we yeah. got to get past that. And we got to get past this break because in a few minutes, are you going to do something special for us? I yes. am. I you am. Know. We're going to get back on the subject of music. Yes. I wanted to take you off so we could get well, your opinion for I'll a few minutes. What, we did a little talk by me. Then we did a little politic thing. Yeah, like uh, <laughs> politic <laughs> enough thing. We found out that the wrong way to approach you. If you're trying to take, to take you out. Well, I you know. love hugs. As long as you don't do nothing out of order. Too. Give me a hug. You ain't got to ask me. So if he had hugged you and then took you to the other place oh where y'all could have performed at, no. might have been a little di- different, huh? Okay. No. I'm just Marty. saying. <laughs> this but is what, man, get this way back in the 80s. Everybody <laughs> was hugging. Guys, we are here talking with Veronica Jackson. Uh-huh. She's got a new CD out mm-hmm. called The Woman I Am. Yes. And once again, how do people get in contact with you again? They can get in contact with me via my website, veronicajackson.com. It's got my phone number on there. You can contact me through my um, email, mm-hmm. you know, information and you're on, on the Facebook website. Also? I'm on Facebook. You know, yeah. you can check me out on Facebook. But it's really good to give me a call or send an email to me via my uh, awesome. website. And when we come back from break, would you just play just a little something for us? I will. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. You're listening to Donnie Jones Live. And I am Donnie the Tree Lady. <laughs> I'm already doing fly. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right. You guys, we are back with our Prentice Hay from Fiber Body Fitness. And you know, I'm excited. She just told me I don't have to work out. Is that what you just said? No. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just kidding, (laughs) y'all. Wouldn't we all love it if that were true? But it's so not. Uh, Go ahead. (laughs) You kind of got me stumped. So no, let, let let me back up of this this train a little bit. So what I did share with my beautiful friend Donnie Jones of Donnie Jones Live is that you don't have to spend hours in a gym to get fit. Oh, see, I missed that. <laughs> That's like mind blowing. <laughs> yeah, not the not workout. This is there's no magic, you yeah. know, pill that you can take. But you don't have to spend hours in the gym to work out. 
it turns out that what you want to change in your workouts are, is your metabolism. The mm-hmm. whole system or old system of calories in, calories out has been proven time and time again to not be the case. Right. You want to boost your metabolism for women specifically. Mm-hmm. And I can really only speak to four women because I right. haven't done research on the men. But we do well with full body workouts. Okay. Anywhere from five to ten minutes a day. I Add do some that. weights that'll boost your metabolism. That'll also start building muscle and muscle burns fat. And so I just want to see you move. Okay. If you're afraid of boot camp, don't be afraid of boot camp. We can do that. Um, spring has sprung. Summer bodies are made in the spring. So I want to get you moving. Reach out for me on Facebook or Instagram or at 678-779-3355. So I can teach you why and how you don't have to spend an hour in the gym to have a vibrant body. Yes, you guys, that is our Princess A with Vibrant Body Fitness. Welcome back to Donnie Jones Live. Okay, you, I'm, I just introduced myself. I'm Marty McFly. Well, you are Marty McFly. Right, and you're Donnie Jones. And I'm Donnie Jones. But yes. guys, we are back <laughs> hanging out with Veronica Jackson. And as promised, we're going to hear a little music from her. Do you want to say anything about this song or just jump right into it? Whatever you well, want to say. Well, I'm just going to jump right on into it because this is one of my originals. Okay. Love it. Clouds are passing, passing over. The sun is shining over my head. I've been through some hard times, yeah, some tough times. I made it through. Now there were days, didn't have food to eat. There were times, thrown out on the street. But somehow I made it and landed on my feet. Yeah, the clouds are passing, passing over. The sun is shining over my head. I've been through some hard times, yeah, some tough times. I made it through. Mama told me, she said many years ago, she said these days, you may surely know you have someone to share with, and sometimes you won't. Yeah, the clouds are passing, passing over, the sun is shining over my head. I've been through some hard times, yeah, some tough times, I made it through. You know the heart is a delicate thing, blood flows through each and every vein, but when it hurts, Lord knows it's a painful thing. Passing over, the sun is shining over my head. I've been through some hard times, yeah, some tough times. I made it through. I made it through. Nice, very nice. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> then I had to put my shades on. For that. I see you got those shades on. The laid back folk just like, okay, just. Mm, I don't even smoke. Yeah. Like, you know, I made it through. I made it through. You know, we all go through something. We have to make it through. Like, I, I made know. it through that. Yeah, yeah <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Now, you know you got to tell us the story behind that song. Right. It's well, almost self-explanatory, but still. Well, you know, it, it's like it, it took me back to when I was young and coming up, and there were times my mother was a single parent, mm-hmm. and there were times when the, we just had tough times like yeah. that. There were times yeah. when, yeah, she did come home, and the the furniture was sitting out, you yeah. know, and... um explaining to me, you know, you just have 
it happens. Yeah. You know, I, the thing about the heart, I know about that personally. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Did somebody break your heart, Veronica? Girl, when I was 30 years old, I never felt nothing like that in my yeah. whole life. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. I didn't. But it, it inspired a song. It did. Yeah. And it that. And now, let me ask you, with your, with your songwriting and your songwriting styles, do you, do you sign up to, like, the conventional, like, songwriting of, you know, I say first verse, second verse, chorus, bridge, or it's kind of like you just say, whatever I feel on this piece of music, mm -hmm. I'm going to go with that. Yeah, that's what I do. I sit down, and if the lyrics come out and I come with the music at the same time, like some people, they can write music, then come back with the lyrics. I basically do it all together. Okay. You know, and I figure out, okay, this will work. What is this here? I wanted to write a song like that, like when I did The Water. You know, it was like I wanted to write about the water. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, how am I going to come up with the music? And I started doing this appreggio thing, and I'm saying, okay, this work, these lyrics okay, are you've used that me. word twice now. And like I have this to in be... here, like this okay. in here, and uh, I'm nervous, so I may. Oh, it means like, okay, you, I'm you just with your fingers. Yeah, gotcha. You go down. Okay. And come back up. And come back. Gotcha. Oh, see, I didn't know. Now I know. Now I know. Okay. <laughs> you know, you just. Okay. Kind of like life. You go down and come back up. Awesome. And see, like, right. where I'm going. Okay. <laughs> we get ready to get back into to it. To the water. Well, like that, that, like okay. That, you know. that's, that's it's a good song. It's a, and I got a violin coming in on that thing. Oh, nice. Once again, how can people get in contact with you? Oh, oh, how can they get Jackson. your music? Yeah, that's what that's we more wanted. That's more important. We, we got to push these CDs. That where we for, that's what we're here for, right? We did. Yeah, we're we, 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 we here for the whole gamut. That's right. We're here for the whole gamut. You know, they need to know who they support. And that's right. right. A little bit about her, you know. Absolutely. Uh -huh. so, so how can they get this? Because they got to get their own, right? That's right. Okay. Yes, that's right. That, that, I already that's got right. my copy, and it's a beautiful thing. Okay, we, I'm going to bootleg your copy. No, Just, you ain't going to bootleg a, How are you going to say bootleg oh, in front of the well, artist? Well, I'm, I'm a purchase She's looking it at you like from you. you. No, cause see. We're going to do it like, you know, I keep it real. I'm sorry. Veronica, <laughs> hey, this Marty. radio. No, I'm just radio. kidding. <laughs> no, because I'm, I'm going to sample it and then play it behind us, you know, doing music beds. And we need stuff like that for the show to help promote it. Well, you can have. You're okay, have well that. that okay, yeah, I can That's have this one. Thank but keep you. it right there, right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah for right now, right keep now. it right there. <laughs> Veronica Waters can be no, not Veronica. Veronica <laughs> Jackson can be in your house. Put that right. CD down. <laughs> 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 y'all like cut part. out all the boots. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Veronica, yeah, so. it's obvious that you have fun with what you're doing. But I, it, I even listen to your music, it does come from a place, or some of the songs, it sounds like it came from a place of pain. Mm -hmm. How did you get the idea to take that painful place and feel comfortable putting it in song? Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you, for a long time, I did other people music because I right. didn't want to express myself right. out in the public. Mm. You know, I, I just rather do somebody else's song that I could relate to. Right. But then when I started hanging out with other artists, you know, because a lot of my first recording, which was a cassette, mm -hmm. it literally was about other people. Um, I was I'm an activist in my own way, you know, and the CD was really something, you yeah. know, but a cassette, yeah. you yeah. know, and it was all original. So Absolutely. it was original because I was spending time mm -hmm. with people in activism. I was meeting people. So songs were coming all out of that. Right. Like my son, the rag man. I mm -hmm. like to write about past the rag man, you know, rag okay. man. He used to come by and sell rags when I was a little girl. Boy, I sang that thing at a festival. The whole audience be helping me to sing it. Okay, okay. Wow. I feel bad. What? What's the, the Ragman? That's one of her original oh, songs. See, no, Ragman. I know the Ragman is know. her song. Okay, the Ragman. The Ragman rag was a guy back in the day. They used old clothes to make paper, the newspaper, the brown okay. bags. So somewhere within there, this guy would come in the neighborhood. And he would buy your rags, your old clothes that your okay, mom didn't want anymore. Okay, see, now I see. know. And a I lot of people know. don't know about rag men. You know, okay. you, you see the down south in Florida or way up in okay. Boston and areas like that. People have told me they had them. And he'll come every Saturday. Rag man. And girl, I would go hide. Okay. Because I, I was afraid of him. You know, really, I was, and one day before I moved up here, I decided to write a song about the rag man. Okay, so it's all I out love. of experiences. See, this yeah. is why you gotta ask. Ask. Okay, yeah. this is a lesson for my kids and anybody else out there in TV yeah. or podcast world. 
<laughs> you don't know something a radio ask. world ask because i cannot tell you how many times back in the past mm-hmm. i used to do this i don't do it anymore mm-hmm. i would be sitting in a business meeting and i didn't know something mm-hmm. and i would just keep going cuz i felt like well everybody else knew what they were talking about so I didn't want to throw you off, but I was like, yeah. I have no idea. Yes. And you've mentioned it twice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you for sharing that. Thank yeah. you for sharing that. Mm-hmm. You were here to ask her something and I accidentally. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't about to ask her anything. I was, I'm just in awe. Uh, no, nah. <laughs> no, nah, I knew what Ragman was. No, no, no Did question. you really know no. what a Ragman was? <laughs> Actually, I did, but it, because of a different thing, because my little small town, we my town was uh, named Shake Rag originally uh-huh. because, okay. you know, different Different things during this time, but when the trains would come through, right. they'll get out there and shake a rag okay. for the trains to stop. Oh, okay. for that city. Uh, well, see, that's a different type of and rag. They would, man. Right, okay. right. And they would. Um, well, see, you didn't know what her rag man was. I put two and two together. Okay, I didn't. So, okay. A rag man. <laughs> so he knew it was a rag yeah, right, right, right. man. If you heard window cleaner. Would you be you like, what, what is that? Because we are in front of cameras or in front of a microphone, I'm not going to say what I'm really thinking right now. You're thinking about Jesus. I'm thinking, <laughs> nah, you ain't Lord help you. <laughs> you know what? If yeah. they want to purchase your music, okay, or actually if, if somebody wanted to work with you or, or invite yeah. you to their event coming up or church, how can they get in contact with you? They can contact me via my website. They can also, if you want me to have the name and the phone number, it's 404-414-1859. Yeah, that number just one more time. The number 404-414-1859. Awesome. I have an email contact at veronicajackson.com. I love okay. it. And what is your website address? You keep saying you have the website, but what is the address? VeronicaJackson.com. And that's Veronica with a K, right? Correct. Yes, Veronica Correct. with a K. Y'all, make sure you get that yeah. K. Now, you've got some upcoming shows. Um, yes. Talk to us a little bit about well, it. I'll be Square doing um, the Decatur Square. Yes. They have a library down there. They have wonderful concert series. Yes. Well, I'll be down there on April the 23rd. It's a Tuesday evening at 7 okay. p.m. And let me tell you, it's free. They always do stuff free to the public. Yes. They got a very nice theater down there. Okay. So come in here, Veronica. I'm okay, well, it might be free, but okay, well, okay, you're going to no, say, okay. I'm okay, down, down I'm there. Say. I ain't going to take over your show. I know. We got some bills to pay. I got some bills to pay next week. So uh, uh, you're listening to Donnie Jones Live right here with Tiny Jones. Who's I'm Marty- laughing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Marty McFly. We'll be right back. Yeah, yeah. And I'm Marty, that guy, Nick Fly, just me. Yes, and we are hitting here, hit, sitting here. Yes. Well, I can't even talk I don't right know now. What's wrong with you? I don't. I didn't. You trying to see you? Was, you were singing in between the break. That's what, I know. what happened. That's what you're talking. Y'all know I can't sing worth the. Not at but all. We are here not with a, not at Jackson. all. She she really no. sounds bad <laughs> singing. Just really, really bad. God didn't bless her with that gift. No. Oh my oh, gosh. Sorry. I, Veronica I Jackson. Yes. We are here with <laughs> Veronica Jackson with a yes. K. And uh, she's here telling us about her, about us, about her new CD, mm-hmm. The Woman I Am. Yes. What would you like for the people to know about this CD? This CD is really special to me. Um, I wanted you to know that the, it's just going to give something to everybody. You know okay. what I'm saying? It's, it's like it's got folk on there. It's got some blues on there. It's got something to feel a little bit of spirit. She's got history on there. I got a song on there about um, Harriet Tubman. Oh, yeah. Because yes. it's really telling who I am. So who are you trying to sell to? Just curious. Is a certain I'm, demographic of people? No, I'm selling to I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to really <laughs> hurt you. I'm just saying. If you've been to her everybody. festivals, you well, know just, that her I'm just being audience just, may just, not look yeah. like what you expect. Right. I, I'm not saying that they expect to look any which way. I'm just making sure. We hit the you know, we this hit the CD, right. This CD, this what, CD, what's neat about it, I would love for African Americans to get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of times they do not they don't get, get it. it. Um, they do not. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Get exposed to this <laughs> yeah, style of music. Exactly. That is exactly. true. You know, and they don't. They don't. But you talked about that in the beginning of your career that a lot of the people didn't look like you, like when you would go to the that's jam right, sessions that's right, and stuff. That's right. That's right. That's Tell right. Tell us about that. Because a lot of times I go to, yeah, I would go to the jam sessions, be waiting around to play. You know, I'd be the only black folk there. And I wouldn't get invited on stage. 
Mm. There are times when I got invited on stage, I was so nervous, I messed up, you know, and stuff like that. But as time went on, I continued with it. Yeah. And a guy told me some years ago, he said, you know what, Veronica? He said, you are the only one out of everybody that used to play music back in St. Petersburg. You're the only one that's still doing it. Wow. Mm. Because you know what? Because I love music. I want out. It's history in that CD. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's a whole different style of music that you wouldn't even, I need y'all to buy one. Okay. <laughs> because, <laughs> really, really, I'm that serious. Are you, are you, to you, get exposed, to expose you to it, to expose your family to it, your friends to it, because most of my audience really are white. Mm-hmm. And I'm being straight up with you. Yeah. Most of them are white. And they sit down there and they listen because of what I'm doing. It's yeah. something that, yeah, you are you planning on doing a music video to any of these? Uh, I hadn't thought about it, but I guess I ought to. I ought to do the one with. The I woman. think that's yes. a great idea. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, there we go. Somebody's okay. raising it back yeah. there. Right. Yeah. Hey, you gonna take you gonna take Marty's job away he's, from? He's him? behind the camera. Just stay focused. We just try to get some business for it. Just, exactly. You know, I'm just saying. No saying for everybody. He you over know? here like, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> But no, I'm saying because nowadays it, it is a thing that I see a lot of artists. You don't can't just make a song now, right? You know, it has to be the full package. You got to mm-hmm. do the song, the the music CD, I mean the 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 actual video of the song, right. yeah. and much a uh, social media that you can out there also. Mm-hmm. You know, just getting your well, stuff I tell you, you, you you say that, but a lot of these people doing that, and they've got a lot of people working with them. right as a single performer mm-hmm. who's done all this. Mm-hmm. One, mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. I just got someone who, um, about two or three months ago, who followed me on Facebook and contacted me, and right. now I just got somebody who wants to help book me. Okay. You know, that's so fun. that's really so neat because I've been doing I, I've been doing this for wow. forty years on my own. Wow. My goodness. So when I say I'm tired, <laughs> I can understand. You say you tired for I can real. understand. <laughs> Oh yeah, but you know, you know, so doing all that, it, it takes it takes money and it takes time, mm-hmm. and uh, I think that mm-hmm. oh, okay, I think she that she relaxed. Uh, right. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm, the I'm, I'm comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gotta be on the mic, you know. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it, it takes a lot to do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. it does. So uh, this CD, I'm looking to do a lot with it. I love I'm it. looking to send it out to certain places. Um, I'm looking, yes, to probably, I'm thank, right. thankful that you said that because I do need to do a uh, video probably on a couple of the songs. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. You know, but Absolutely. I need somebody that can do the video that can bring insight on what, with the song, not just video me. Right. But I need somebody right. with insight and, you know and wisdom to help me and to I create really that And I think you can might find some investors. Like, Donnie believes in your product a whole lot. Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised if she wouldn't mind investing into your dream. Mm. I wouldn't you know? mind it. I yeah. wouldn't mind well, it. And, you know, you and know. there's an, the other good thing is that there's people that are in the uh, videography industry mm-hmm. that would also love to invest. Right. In like, your, some the like, like some of the people that's actually videotaping our show right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got people right here. Or people just sitting uh, in the chair. You just yeah. never know. I mean, yeah. there are people that are willing to give from their heart and yeah. it's not about the money for them yeah. they just yeah. they just want to do something for you right because yeah. <laughs> one guy asked me say what kind of guitar that you playing he asked this on facebook he did a story about me some years ago and i told him he said well you know you need to contact um the maker of this guitar yes and and tell them you know i play your guitar this is who i am mm-hmm. and i like to you know get some sponsorship yeah, yeah. yeah. to endorse your, that's your, the your, word endorsements yeah, yeah. we're that's doing awesome. this you know well, you know i think the sky's the limit you know with everything if you knock on the door it will be open somehow right. yeah. you know at some yeah. point but i think if you really well you already got the dream you've been doing this for years mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. but um i think there's some people out there that would really love to help you you know just mm-hmm. Give you give them that contact information again yeah. real quick on yes. the mic. And Veronica they might Jackson, can. you can contact me at veronicajackson.com. That's Veronica with a K. Yes. You can uh, contact me. My uh, email is contact at veronicajackson.com. Awesome. My phone number is 404-414-1859. And tell them what radio station this is. That's right. Well, we've got... We are we are being heard all over the world right now. So we're <laughs> you're so awesome. 
we're going we're gonna to do that in between sets and all over the place. Oh, right. But, you know, I tell you what's so great is having you here because I'm impressed with the fact that you have been doing this for 40 years. You know, and there's people that want to pursue their dream in music. What advice would you give them if they've got that in there, but they still haven't pursued it because of the finances or because they're scared? Or what What would you tell up and coming artists or maybe somebody that's seasoned that's like, mm-hmm. I really want to get my music out there? What would you tell them they should be doing right now? Well, the first thing to do is try to hook up and hang out with people that are playing the music or who are um, writers or painters. You want to get in their group. I was fortunate to be able to hook up with some people that played music back in the day. Right. So with that, I just kept playing it and kept making sure that I go to places that was playing folk music. Right. And I right. sung my music and I played my songs. Well, and I kept on. You know, I got to say you are inspiration to me and some other people. I'm saying younger younger artists ought to be up and coming. Yes. And, you know. Just and don't really give that, up. You t- can't give oh, up. Right. That's yes. the biggest thing, to having yeah. that tenacity. Because I, I yeah. see you in a sense of just not giving up. You got to yeah. believe in yourself because there are times when folks told me, you know, say, well, you got to be la di da da You ain't good enough. I had somebody just recently told me my name wasn't famous enough, so that's why they wouldn't book me at their venue. But wow. wait, you know what? Mm. When that name get famous. Come on. She's coming go. out of her pocket. Or I exactly. <laughs> but you know what's beautiful about you owning that is that nowadays there are people that are more seasoned that are take they they may have been a lawyer or a painter mm-hmm. or a contractor the whole life and they're now like listen I'm gonna pursue my yeah. my art or I'm pursue yeah. my music and stuff yeah. like that and I just think when I see people like you it inspires me to want to do better. Mm-hmm. I've always loved radio and music and mm-hmm. and TV and stuff. But I was so focused on another area, you know, that I neglected that. So to be able to see people like you inspires me yeah. to want to do better. Well, I was 55 when I left my job. Oh, wow. wow. Now, do you have anything coming up um, that we need to know about? Any concerts, any shows that you Well, make? I've got a couple of things I'm doing. I'm doing the concert at the Decatur Library, downtown Decatur. Right. Okay. On April the 23rd at 7 right. p.m. Mm-hmm. And then Decatur got the Arts Festival. That's coming the end of May. Okay. I'll be doing that. Okay. And I do some in between things because I like to go and entertain seniors. Uh oh. I, right. I I go and perform for Just them. Just some of those old senior Je- parties. Yeah. <laughs> Je- but they do they, they get a different style of music. Uh oh. No, no yeah. chicken wang wang. Oh, what kind of oh I, I, I do so. Chicken wang wang wang. Oh <laughs> yeah, gosh. you know. I, old people gotta get Marty. it too. What? I see. <laughs> she be popping them strings. We did a for segment bang, where he was talking bang. about he was gonna start a business <laughs> that was strippers for for seniors. Give it back to no, me. <laughs> <laughs> when I get that age, I want somebody to strip for me. Marty, Shoot. Hey, I'm just saying. You Pass were saying, it forward. You it, were saying about seniors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <laughs> look. We don't have a whole lot of time left, so if they real quick to get in contact with you. What's One your phone time. number? 404-414-1859. Yes. Website is veronicajackson.com. Oh, great, awesome. great, great. And since you got it over there, where can they get your book at? Oh, my book, From Failure to Fabulous. Ha, 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 for those of you that can't see it. From yes. Failure to Fabulous. You can get it on Amazon. And, of course, make sure you spell my name right, Donnie Jones, D-O-N-I Jones. Also, how do they get in contact with us? Uh, you can always send us an email at Donnie Jones Live. At gmail.com. That's D O N I J O N E S live, L I V E S at gmail.com. And you can play us out. Yes. I'm just, just going to do this here. The woman I am, she's kind of special. Mm. The woman I am, you got to treat her right. The woman I am, deserve loving kindness. At work, at home, when I'm in your sight. Love it. You guys, this is Veronica Jackson. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Awesome. And you guys are listening to Donnie Jones Live. I'm Donnie the Tree Lady. And I'm Marty McFly. And we will see y'all next week. Yeah, y'all.